Hi, I'm Gus, and this is my little brother, Langston. It's been a long time. Today is January 7th, and we haven't done a podcast since December 10th. Okay, Langston, what is this bird we're looking at? Um, hmm. Scrubbage. Scrub J. Yep, Scrub J. You got it. Western Scrub J. Western Scrub J's are found most commonly on the West Coast. So that means, can we go out of the way for a sec? So that means California, we're here right now. Sorry, this map is a little, well, it's, it's, it's backwards, let's say that. So California is right there. Um, so is Nevada, Oregon. Those are all great places to find birds. But the West Coast has cool bird, I mean, the East Coast has cool birds too, like cardinals. And there are also some um, scrub jays on the East Coast. Now, um, unlike most birds, or there are some birds that do this, but unlike most birds, Scrub jays don't migrate for the winter. They stay in the cold, harsh winter. They will, most birds can't do that. In fact, most animals, some animals that can do that are, well, besides scrub jays, chickadees, otters, um, deer, and there are a little bit more. There are also some animals in the winter. And why don't you get up, Langston? Why? So that our audience can see you. There are also some animals under the pond in the winter. Or, yeah, under a pond, there could be some animals. Like what, Langston? Um. Fish. Fish. Yep, some fish. Um, <sighs> that's cool, right? Another bird. Here's a bird that lives on the East Coast. That bird is. That bird is. Yes, a cardinal. Why don't why don't we move it out of the way for a second so they can see it? A cardinal. Wow, this looks much different from the scrub jay. And not knowing for sure, but I think cardinals spend the cold harsh winter um too. What color is even their beak? Red, yeah. Red. They're oh. probably not all red. Yeah. And they're super red. black um, on your face. Yeah. There's a little bit of black on its face and kind of brown on its back. Yeah. But mostly they're just red. Red birds. Mm. Ooh. Red birds. They live on the East Coast, not the West Coast. We live on the West Coast. They live on the East Coast, which is, um, which is, let's move on away, which is, um, um, things like, 
<sighs> Washington, D.C. Uh, one of the most common places is North Carolina, where my cousins live. I don't think Langston's met them yet. Their names are Micah and Luca. We went there, I can't remember. It was, we went there, I think, in 2019, in August, to see them. Me and Dada, Mama and Langston stayed here. Hmm. But then... What you might be thinking is, what's in the middle of the United States? Another question might come to mind is, so where, where can you see all these cool birds besides in the natural home? Well, there is one place to, for the answer for all these questions. And... Um, um, that is indeed Marin County, located in San Francisco. You can go there, and it kind of looks like, well, at certain ways, the grass just looks like the middle of the United States which is called the prairie. The middle of the United States is called the prairie. Do you have anything you want to say, Langston? <laughs> what? Why? About this podcast, like about <laughs> blue jays and cardinals. How about cardinals? Should we go, should we go back to cardinals again? <laughs> Okay, I can manage that. Um, okay, so what did you want to say about cardinals? What did you want to say about cardinals? They have black beaks. That's the beak right there. What color is it? Red. Yeah, it's red, not black. What is black? Is the um, part next to the beak black? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cardinals have there's one other bird that's pretty famous. And here is oopsies. And here is the amazing, the wonderful bald eagle. This bird can be located on both the west and east coast. If you're driving up to Oregon, you might see them. In, in about the 19, like from the 19, in the 1900s, these bald eagles were pretty endangered. Well, my dad has seen one in the wild. Let's move for a sec, Langston. Bald eagles, huh, they, when they're born, all they have are the warm feathers, not flying feathers yet. They use they lose those warm feathers and get flying feathers as they grow up. Bald eagles are so awesome, right, Langston? Yeah. Now so those I like bald eagles better than tails and bald You do? Cool. And here is a bald eagle about, can you move out of the way for a sec, Langston? Here is a bald eagle about to catch its prey. Cool sight, huh? With it, almost like a pilgrim falcon, instead of doing a stoop, which is a pilgrim falcon's dive, they will, it looks like, 
coming in right here. One thing they have in common with ospreys, another bird, another raptor, a kind of hawk, um, is their favorite food is fish. But they'll also go after things like geese. Canada geese is on the um, list too. Anything you want, any other things you want to say, or should we leave? And I'm more um, talk. What? But, um, hmm. Uh, bald eagle. We can move to a bit different bird. Yeah! Okay. Bird. I think we actually should move to... It yeah. might be nice to move to um it might be nice to move to this a warthog. Now the reason we're at this warthog is so before I said I said I questioned what was in the middle of the United States. Well, this is kind of what the middle of the United States looks like, the prairie. It has a lot of grass, and although they don't have warthogs, they do have a lot of cool animals like like bice. Bison. bison. Yeah, bison. They have bison. They have prairie wolves, aka the coyote. Rhino. How rhino? No, rhinos live with warthogs in the African savanna. Oh, yeah, that's where this warthog is right now. How the African, African savanna? African savanna, too. Now, can we please say goodbye? We yeah. have things we got. Okay. I'm going to do another back row now. Okay, we'll do one more, but then can we go? Okay. So. A let's, cool one. Okay, let's see what else we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is cheese. It can, no. it's either a cheetah or a leopard. Leopard. And Bonilla. here's another picture of the African savanna. Leopards, another animal that lives there. This animal, this pod, this episode is about birds. We'll get to the African savanna later. Birds, I said. Now, Langston, we really got to leave. So can you please say goodbye? We'll come. We'll we'll do another one soon, really soon, because we we need to catch and up. Cheetah. And do that one more. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just one more though. Then we have leopard. to leave. Leopard. Leopard again. Leopard. Okay. Leopard. Now, what do you want to do with the leopard? Because we really gotta leave um, soon. They're so fast. They have down to you. Yeah, so quiet. Yeah, the leopards are pretty fast, but cheetahs are faster. But you know what's faster than a cheetah? Sailfish, a kind of fish. Anything else to say? Because we just have to go. So we're gonna go, folks. Mm. Ah, don't worry, Langston. We'll see them. Soon. Bye. See ya.